Good evening and welcome to Q10 May Figures TV. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're going to be taking a look at Monster High 13 Wishes and we're going to be having a look at Claudine Wolf from 13 Wishes. So here she is, Claudine Wolf, as you can probably see, from Monster High 13 Wishes. So well, let's take a closer look at her and all her accessories and stuff. So let's take a closer look at Glodian Wolf on Monster High 13 Wishes. Take a look. So here we are taking a look at Monster High 13 Wishes and we are taking a look at Glodian Wolf made by Mattel in 2013 or 2012 obviously um, the DVD came out in 2013 so anyway um, so today we'll take a look at Claudine Wolf um, she is the third one in the deluxe uh, haunt the Kashba line um, the packaging is pretty similar to all of the previous two that I have uh, reviewed recently and as you can see you got the Monster High logo there you got a nice beautiful picture of uh, Claudine Wolf there uh, she is the daughter of uh, the werewolf um, or Wolfman whatever she does have a little sister called Howleen and also a big brother called uh, Claude so uh, anyway just a little bit about Claudine Wolf so um, as you can see at top here it's showcasing the Monster High 13 Wishes uh, DVD which is already out I actually have that as well. I've also played the video game and I think that's really fantastic. Um, so anyway, uh, the packaging is pretty similar to the others. Um, you've got the 13 wishes down here. We got lots of really nice uh, purple uh, um, flames coming all around here and, that, and the skullet thing here logo, stuff like that, and the Monster High logo on the side here, if I show you this, the Monster High uh, logo, and also I'll show you the underneath, nothing much, and also um, she sends up pretty good packaging of uh, Floating Wolf, uh, the U2, what kind of, um, you know, they didn't really want to stand up, um, obviously, but, um, so anyway, um, anyway, Claudine Wolf, I nearly forgot what I was going to say then, uh, which looks great in packaging, um, I am a fan of Claudine, um, this is the very first doll of Claudine that I, got. Um, on the side here we've got Monster High. And that's, uh, that's pretty good and more flames and stuff. More flames on the top. Take a look at the back of the packaging. And yeah they are made by Mattel. Um, one of my uh, favorite uh, Toy companies or doll companies. Um, so anyway, you can go to monsterhigh.com and also here we've got a little thing about uh, Claudine and it says Monster High at the top and it says Haunt the Cash Bar. These are a deluxe um, line, so they're a little bit uh, pricey than. Uh, your regular 
uh, Monster High because these are based on the movie you see in its read up says for uh, Claudine Wolf it says daughter of the werewolf and that's pretty much it and then here we got the uh, tells you a little bit about uh, 13 wishes and stuff like that same read up for the uh, other ones as well so I'll read it out and it says here a mysterious magical lantern makes wearing this dress a wish come true and that's pretty much it really for the read up and it's in different languages and that so yeah um, Claudine looks really good so uh, let's actually open her up and also we've got in the line we've got Frankenstein and Draculaura which I um, recently reviewed and I absolutely love both of them I think they're both fantastic and uh, so here we have Claudine um, so let's actually open her up so the packaging's pretty same as uh, the others and um, let's just put some finger marks on the packaging there Anyway, so let's actually get her opened up. Um, it is a little bit complicated trying to get dolls out of the packaging. Um, you have to open both of the things because they're held in by tabs beside here. There's tabs inside the packaging, so um, it's really difficult to. Uh, Open them up. Um, yeah. the tab here. Um, okay, so it's that. Also, we get to uh, unlock those tabs at the side. You can also pull out the um, hairbrush in a minute. Uh, but I'm just going to try and get these tabs up. Basically, there is actually tabs inside the uh, packaging, and it's a little bit of a pain. Like I said, um, it's a bit of a pain to get her out of the uh, packaging. So, so what you have to do is open up both sides um, from the top and bottom, um, which can be a little bit difficult. down there so you guys can get a look at that. So like I said uh, um, earlier there is tabs in here and that's uh, it does take me quite a long time to get them out of the packaging. Um, yeah, these ones because so, they're held in by these tabs you see and just like Dracula, as I'm gonna um, try and get it out um, the bottom. There we go. Usually I pull them out from the top, but just like Dracula, I actually pulled her out from the bottom. So, but you do need to unlock both tabs to get them out of the packaging. So. Um, it's really up to you, really. So, I'm just going to do this off camera. Right, um, so, we got to unlock both tabs. Right, so, we do say Claudine Wolf on there. Oh, just Claudine. It's really strange packaging uh, for a doll. I've never seen it anything like it before. I'm going to leave the top one open so I can get the thing back in there. So, 
And just like uh, Claudine, we've got over here. We've got the uh, instructions how to connect the display stand and stuff like that. Because uh, they do include a stand. That's really good. That, um, I'll go for a break in a minute, in a few minutes, uh, once I've got the accessories out, and then, um, because it takes so long to actually get the doll out, so I'll take a break and do that off camera. Um, it takes really so long to take them out of the packaging. So I'll go for the hair comb first, because um, that's the easiest uh, thing out of packaging can get out, take out. And by the way, these hair combs are really, really useful. Um, so when you get the doll out of the packaging, you can comb, um, brush the hair. So here's the hairbrush, and it's standard, similar to the others in black. And also we've got a Monster High uh, name on it, which is nice, and the skullet there. All sculpted in as well with the bow top, really nice. They're very, very useful, so I'm glad they included that. Also, we got the lantern, no, but I'll take out uh, these first. Uh, the actual bar, the stand, and there is a certain way of. Um, clipping this in and stuff like that so I have to look at the instructions to do that. Um, I have to get some scissors to uh, get this stand. Oh, because the stand is held by a tab, um, a closed tab and also there's little tabs on the dress as well to so be held in by that. So here's the stand, same similar stand to Frankenstein and Draculara. There you go, and I'll show you the back as well. Pretty good. And just like the other one. stand actually goes in like that. So that's what the stand looks like when it's built up. And obviously the stands do vary the most high um, series. There's different stands. Uh, we've got the lantern, and, and it's the exact same similar lantern as all the others, apart from it's in a purple colour. See if we can get this out. Now it's held by these uh, little elastics. So here's the lantern, really nicely sculpted, detailed, really nice, it does open, got a little hinge on there, got the scarlet um, there, as you can see, the most high logo. The lantern does open, see? I think in there. Some really beautiful detail in that. And it's purple. It may look black on the camera, but it is a really deep purple. Like a black and purple colour. Really nice, beautiful. 
And she does come with a card. Um, if I can just... I'll reach that out when, when I actually get the uh, doll out. Right, I'll uh, make a stop here with her uh, shoes, I suppose. That's that, and we can remove the card. So here's uh, Claudine Wolf's card. One thirteen wishes. Looks pretty good. Also on the back there we've got Frankenstein. Draculaura, and Glodian Wolf, and also Gigi Grant, which is the genie. It says uh, 2013 on there, Mattel. Okay, I'm going to take a break and I'll uh, take Claudine out of the uh, packaging, um, out of the tray and stuff, because there's a lot of complicated uh, things uh, tying her, her down. Um, so I'm going to take my time in the break and get her out and stuff like that, because if I quickly show you what's on the back here, there's quite a lot of things here. Um, that I've got to be very, very careful with. So, I'll see you after the break. So, it's only going to be a quick break, so, um, yeah. This is her in the tray, by the way. And we'll be right back. So, um, here we have uh, Claudine Wolf. Now I've got her out of the packaging and now I've sorted out uh, her hair and uh, well, so there's lumps of it here that's I don't know. Anyway, so here she is, um after just sorting out a few things here and there. There is actually things um in the head. Um you have to probably pull them out. They're only like these little tab things. Here, they're actually within the hair, um, in the back of the head. You have to probably get some um, pliers or some little snips just to pull them out, uh, just to tug them out. Um, and that, but here she is. Um, she looks pretty good. I really love her outfit. This is the one that she wore in 13 Wishes um, when she gets banished to the uh, desert, the oasis um, within the lamp. I really love the uh, wolf print on her dress. It looks fantastic. And you've got moons in there, stuff with the detail and that. She only has one earring in her ears with a crescent moon you can see there and it is removable that, uh, and she doesn't have any in that ear but also in the movie she does have multiple earrings um, in when she's got a normal outfit and that's uh, outfit's really nice um, it's 
stuff. Uh, the belt is really well done. Just looking if there's anything tying her down. Nope. No, but uh, just really good. I love the gold and the purple. That I think it works really well. Also, let's get a good look at her shoes. They are very nicely gold. And we've got the purple there as well. Gold and purple does uh, go well with one another. And black as well. So they're her shoes. Um, just show you the back here as well. Very beautiful. Very well done. Love the gold shoes. And that. is really nice kind of brown and we've got some purple going on in there um, there is a some little ties here um, within the hair with the purple part here where it's plaited I actually pulled this one down because I actually uh, cut the one out because I thought it looked really silly having um, you know like little things plastic um, ties that hold them in with in the packaging and stuff like that. Uh, some of them I have left in like Dracula's because her hair was in like a ponytail. I kind of left that alone. Um, and right now I'm leaving this alone like this because I kind of like it like that. Even though you can probably see it, um, I'm just going to leave it because it ties the thing together. And that uh, headdress piece is very nice, it's very gold. And that um, stuff, kind of move her hair out of the way. So you can see the outfit a bit more. You've got really gold uh, uh, bracelets here, which go like thing going on here. And same on the other side as well. And you can see the gold uh, lipstick, and also she has fangs like a wolf there. They are there, it's just really hard to see um, because of the gold lipstick. Uh, but they are there, though. For the wolf ears and stuff. That. Really love the gold in her hair, the tinsel stuff. And her skirt's really nice, as you can see. Really nice. Okay, now for the articulation. I think I explained uh, before about the articulation is similar to the others. We've got a ball jointed head. You can move it up and down, side to side. But arms can uh, go in and out. The elbows do swivel and also bend. Well, they're on little ball joints. Uh, the hands are on a ball joint. So you can do that if you want. And her nails are really uh, nicely sculpted as well. And that. She has articulation in the legs, so you can bring her leg out like that. You can probably heard it click then. Bring it out a little bit because it's hindered by the skirt. I'm gonna pull the skirt down there. Uh, and same with that one there. We got the uh, knee articulation, so she can bend her knees. And also, it does swivel as well in the knee. Like the previous two, there's no uh, ankle articulation. Just showing you that there's none of that. So. Uh, shoes are probably going to be removable. Um, I'm not going to remove them. Again, I'm just going to pull her skirt down. And as you can probably see, it's really nicely fabricated in one, two, three, three layers. Then you've got her normal outfit there. Stuff, so that's pretty good. 
She has it like tied up back here, if you can probably see. Um, if I can move her hair out of the way, you can probably see it's tied back here. And that. That's pretty much it for that. I'm um, just going to bring this skirt down. Really love the detailing in the outfit here. It's very nice. You got the black, the purple, the gold, and the gray. Um, they all look great together. And it's like kind of nets here, top. Her makeup's really nice. You got some purple within there, and glitter and stuff like that. Gold lipstick as well. So, really good articulation. So, I'm gonna kind of have a like that. I can probably have her like this, which is like probably her maroon or. Uh, Really nice. Okay, let's actually put her on the stand and uh, stuff like that. Um, so these stands are really, really strange um, compared to some of the others. And I have to get the skirt around it, stuff like that. There we go. Like that. Kind of move her tilt her head so it's kind of forward. Like so. Um, yeah, the detail is really excellent on these uh, Monster High dolls. Uh, now I have Claudine, um, Frankie, and Draculara. Um, I'm going to say these are really good um, detailed uh, dolls. Well done. Um, just going to put her on like that. So she looks like she's uh, got her hand on her hips. Like that. Oops. Something like that. Can I bring it over right? Oh, I didn't uh, interfere with this stand. Just trying to get them standing on the right. Okay, that's better. It's actually a uh, fur on here. And she does come with a magic lantern in purple. I don't want to bring that around there like that. So you can't see the other bit. Let me just bring that over there so you can get a good look. Now for accessories, um, other than the ones that she's already wearing, um, there's not a lot. Um, you do get the hairbrush, which is very, very useful uh, for when you actually got them out of the packaging. You can just quickly brush their hair. Um, got a little bit of hair on there, actually. And that's uh, there we go. So yeah, they are very, very useful um, when you actually have Monster High. Yeah, uh, I'll just gonna. So, anyway, um, yeah, the hairbrush is very useful, um, and it looks really nice, that, and it says Monster High on it as well, so, I see that there, very good. She also comes with a magic lantern, 
and same same old lantern that came with uh, Frankenstein and Dracula apart from it's in a color of purple instead of being blue like a light blue and a uh, red pinkish red um, they all have these lanterns um, apart from that in the movie it's gold and obviously that's the one that comes with uh, Gigi so um, really beautiful detail though and also it does open up like I showed you earlier and that's so uh, really really nicely detailed and uh, it is. Abby actually comes with a uh, white uh, lantern obviously and um, I haven't seen her around like yet but hopefully I do and that's pretty good and it really does open up really well so that's that and also she does come with a card like I showed you earlier and also it has Dracula, Frankenstein and uh, Claudine Wolf and Gigi as well so uh, pretty good really nice card So let's take a closer look at uh, Claudine and that um, desk is a little bit dirty, but anyway. Here she is close up. Um, just going to switch this on so you guys can get a good look at Claudine. Wow, she looks uh, great. Um, really love the design of the outfit she's wearing on the 13 Wishes uh, movie. Um, there is brown and purple hair. Um, that's the colors of her, hair, of her hair, as you can probably see. Look really good. Um, they actually do mix really well. That's so really nice. The stand makes it a really lot better for the Monster High series because uh, um, I don't know if some of them can stand up in the high heels that they wear, um, but I'm glad they include display stands because they look really nice. Um, so. There you go, that's that. I'll show you her with the lantern. So, as you can probably see, here's the lantern and stuff like that. I'll that at the side there so you get a good look at her and the actual lantern and now it <laughs> kind of got like a bobble thing going on here so anyway um, here she is with the lantern looking pretty good we got the hair coat the hair brush here as well as the little ID card that that came with her just gonna show this off one more time stuff. Uh, her bracelets, her earring and um, her headpiece, um, like a little tiara thing going around. That's like gold and it looks really really nice. Um, the basic one would probably have, have um, multiple uh, earrings uh, and then she only just wears one when she's in this outfit and that um, also it is very translucent purple within the uh, the, sand, the uh, shoes there I'm just going to mention um, as well and that looks pretty nice um, this is the third uh, Monster High 13 Wishes doll I have um, this is the third one that I got and Claudine Wolf, uh, really good. Uh, let's go to my final thoughts and uh, that's uh, for uh, Claudine stuff. So uh, the articulation is great. Um, I really do love the style of these um, Mr. High dolls. So I'm actually going to uh, just uh, put the card back and also the 
hairbrush because I don't display the hairbrushes in the display. So. Like I said before, you don't really get a great deal of accessories um, other than if it's already attached to her. Um, the stand makes up for quite a lot of things. Um, even though she's really beautifully detailed, she has no uh, waist articulation and I think that's just standard for pretty much all of them. Um, I'm just going to move it on here. Hand. Um, yeah, they're very fascinating, um, and uh, hopefully I get GG soon, um, which I'll make it. I've, had, I've got most of them um, from 13 wishes. So these are the actual the, uh, first uh, look on Monster High. So I'm going to the final thoughts in a few minutes once I've uh, put the packaging away. Okay. So, just gonna put this down here and quite a lot of things that are stuck in it sometimes with in the packaging. For all the extra things like um, things that they'll bits of tie in, whatever it is. Right. So yeah I do kinda keep um, things that's within the packaging. Um, just to get rid of it, really. I can't really say much about uh, Claudine, uh, other than uh, she's sister of Claude, and also she has a little sister, Arlene. That's pretty much uh, all I know about her. Um, I actually played um, with Claudine um, in the video game. And uh, quite a lot, and she's pretty much uh, a favourite amongst uh, Frankie and uh, Dracula. So, just my third uh, favourite of them. So, let's go to our final thoughts. And uh, obviously we'll end this with a display video. And uh, in fact, the packaging is a lot better on uh, Claudine's than it is for the others because this one actually stands up pretty better than the others. It just depends if underneath is kind of uh, bent or whatever. Okay, final thoughts for uh, Claudine Wolf uh, from Monster High 13 Wishes. Uh, her outfit is fabulous, uh, really well detailed, um, the makeup on her is really well detailed as well. The articulation is just perfect, the only thing that they don't have is ankle articulation and waist articulation, that's the only thing. Uh, but overall, it's still can get a good motion of um, articulation with them, good poseability. And stuff. Um, her hair looks fantastic. Um, even though I've got a little thing, uh, you know, holding it there, you know, tie uh, that is already on her. Um, I actually just moved it downwards because I actually cut the one off the bottom because I thought it looked really kind of silly. Um, but at least I left one on there just to tie her hair up. Um, that's so. 
Sorry, there's bits here. Just bring that down there. Okay, that's good. Um, you do get a hair comb with her, and this is very, very useful. Um, the display stand is really good. Um, comes with a magical lantern, um, which it's a part of the series. Um, that's so. Uh, because um, GG comes with her lantern, and that gold lantern is supposed to be, um, you know, the one. Because it's only the one that's within the movie, and since it's about 13 wishes, they probably decided to give Claudine, Frankenstein, and Dracula um, their own lanterns um, in their own uh, colours, as far as I know. Um, But anyway, she looks great. Um, overall, the articulation is just fantastic. Um, the detail is beautiful. And the accessories are really nice. Um, they are a little bit of a pain to get out of the packaging. But besides that, uh, with all the little um, pieces that you have to you know, remove you know, from the back of the hair, um, or you know, because they're actually right in the back of the um, head, and you have to really pull them out. Now I actually left some of those in the other two, and I just covered them up um, with their hair. But um, so you can't notice them; and they're not, you know, sharp. And that, um, but overall, Claudine, she's. Fantastic. Um, I really love the design of her and that. Uh, so maybe later I'll get Halloween and uh, Claude as well and that uh, to go along with her. And maybe another uh, Claudine at some point down the road uh, if I ever do find the um, skull it. Yeah, skull mate. Uh, roller maze. And chat, um, just a door playing anyway. Um, yeah, Claudine Wolf definitely pick her up and add her to your collection. Um, they've got amazing detail and also amazing uh, articulation as well. Um, they're really well done, and I can't wait to uh, see more of them and stuff so overall definitely highly recommend picking up Claudine if you're a fan of uh, Monster High 13 Wishes and uh, definitely add her to your collection and that's just about it really um, can't really say anything bad about her or anything like that um, the packaging is really complicated um, in terms of trying to get her out but once you actually get them out of the packaging uh, it's not a problem at all. And the stand looks great. So The stands do vary between the series. And so there's different uh, pieces for the stand and stuff like that. So Overall, definitely uh, pick up Claudine. Um, and added to the collection, like I said, just two minutes ago. But anyway, um, until then... Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you very very soon. And here's a quick display video showing uh, Claudine Wolf on display with uh, Frankenstein and Draculaura. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. Until next time, take care. Till then. And here she is with the packaging as well. And she really does look good next to it. Until next time, take care. So here we are with Claudine Wolf from Monster High 13 Wishes and she is on display with Frankenstein and uh, Draculaura and she does look fantastic on display along with the O2 13 Wishes as you can see they all have uh, gold uh, accessories and stuff and they all have um, magical lanterns in their own colors like Frank's is a blue 
Draculaurus is like a red and pink, and uh, Claudine's kind of like a black and purple, like a dark purple, as you can probably see. And they all look fantastic on display, all of them. So I can, as you can probably see, all of them there. They all come with display stands, and they're all the same stands that come with them. The match. Overall, definitely add um, all three of these to your collection if you're a big fan of Monster High. And that's pretty much it. Um, definitely uh, recommend all three of them. The articulation doesn't get in the way w of their uh, outfits. They are perfect, and they all look like they've just come from the movie. And uh, that's just about it. Uh, until then, see you guys very soon. Till next time, take care. Till then. They all look great on display. That's all I gotta say. They all look cute as well. Until next time.